It's been a month of using what's probably the best new smartphone you can buy under a 100k. And just how well does it live up to that title? Well, you'll find out during the course of this video. But before we start, let me address the elephants in the room. Is the Redmi A3X an upgrade to the Redmi A3? Well, no. If anything, it's a variant to the Redmi A3 and the only difference is in the terms of the processors. Honestly, it doesn't really make sense why we have two identical smartphones. I really don't know what Redmi was thinking. Anyways, unboxing the Redmi A3, we get the typical from Redmi. The A3X itself, obviously, some paperwork and a charging brick plus a USB Type-C cable. I got my units for 96,000 Naira and as we all know that amount of money could buy at least two smartphones of this caliber some years ago. Man, times have changed. Anyways, the Redmi A3X is made out of glass at the rear which is surprising because smartphones at this price range are typically made out of plastic. Build quality is superb and it feels nice to hold in the hands. And of course, it rocks the popular flat side design inspired by iPhones. At the size of the Redmi A3X, we get the volume keys and a side mounted fingerprint scanner which is fast and accurate. The Redmi A3X is a 4G device that accepts two nano SIM cards and a memory card up to 2TB in size. Funnily enough, a 2TB memory card, an original one, costs way more than this device. Is that not wonderful? Anyways, at the bottom is a mono speaker, USB Type-C port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. Alright, how is the display? Well, the Redmi A3X houses a 6.71 inch IPS LCD display with a resolution of 720 by 1650 pixels and surprisingly 90Hz refresh rate. Although it doesn't really feel like it is running at true 90Hz refresh rate if I'm being completely honest since it stutters from time to time. This might be because of the processor though. More about that in a bit and before you ask yes i did check if it was on 90 hertz because it is not set to 90 hertz on default redmi also claims that it has current gorilla glass 3 protection there is no way for me to verify if that is true or not but i would like to believe them but either way get a screen protector if you are the clumsy type it will help you a bunch Viewing content on the Redmi A3X is alright, it is what you would expect from a 720p LCD display and frankly if you have not used anything better then you wouldn't have any issues with it. That said, usage outdoors falls short as it can only go to about 500 nits in brightness. Software is Android 14 with the MIUI skin on top of it. For MIUI, this skin is rather bare bones and it's quite limiting when it comes to customization options. If anything, it feels like stock Android with a basic skin on top of it. It doesn't just feel like the, you know, true or the full MIUI experience, which to be honest is expected. And what's more expected is the fact that there is ads on this device and Bluetooth, you know, the typical Redmi experience. Also, when you get this device, you'll be greeted with an update. So make sure to update it to get the best experience. Now, will we be getting future software updates? I honestly can't say. The Redmi A3X isn't a gaming phone and it shouldn't be treated as one. Powered by the Unisoc T603 chipsets and 3 or 4GB of RAM with 64 128GB of storage, it will handle the basic social media apps well and the basic games well as well. But when it comes to demanding titles like Call of Duty, although you'll be able to run it, you'll definitely face lags and stutters while gaming. I have the base model with me that is the 3GB of RAM and 64GB of storage model and frankly gaming on it isn't really that good. So I wouldn't really advise you to even try and install Call of Duty or any other demanding game on it. And frankly, if you are getting this device in the first place, then you aren't really serious about gaming because this isn't meant for gaming in any way or form. Here are the benchmark scores for those who are interested. Really, it's nothing special when it comes to performance. It is just your everyday device for basic tasks and needs. When it comes to cameras, don't let the huge camera bump fool you. The Redmi A3X houses a dual camera setup which includes an 8 megapixel main and a 0.8 megapixel auxiliary camera. So really, it's just the 8 megapixel camera that takes the photos. And speaking of photos, the photos from the rear cameras are okay. They are just the bare minimum. Here are some samples. Let me know what you think in the comments. Likewise, here are some photos taken from the 5 megapixel selfie camera. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below the like button. Um, here's the video quality and my quality from the camera, the selfie camera. 
Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I uh, can see that the HDR is non-existent pretty much. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, peace. The Redmi A3s can also shoot videos in 1080p 30 frames per second. Here is a sample from the rear camera. What do you think? Let me know in the comments section as well. So here is video quality from the rear camera. Um, I guess it's trying to you know use HDR. There's a bit of HDR there. Uh, you can see the clouds and stuff. But yeah, it's it's not something special to be honest. But it's, it's still better than nothing. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, peace. Powering the Redmi A3X is a 5000mAh battery which will last you through the entire day. If you use it as a backup device then you will get at least 2 days of usage easy which I think is pretty good. And when it comes to charging, well the Redmi A3X supports 10 watts charging which isn't all that fast but hey, sacrifices were made when creating this device. Anyways, that's it on the Redmi A3X and after a month's worth of usage I can say it's a solid device for those who are on and I mean on a really tight budget. But do let me know what you think in the comment section. Would you get Redmi A3X or would you save up and get a better device? Let's chat in the comments. Thanks for watching and catch you guys in the next one. Peace.